All right, and we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the fourth part of the show, we're now going to get into previewing slash recapping games in college football and then as well as previewing the uh, early games uh, for Sunday as well. So we'll kind of take a look back at some of the big games uh, last week. So you did have an overtime game on Friday between Illinois and Nebraska. Illinois picking up the win, 31-24. Uh, they were a nine-point they were a nine point underdog in that game, and they won in overtime. They improved to 4-0 on the season. Uh, you also had a um, wacky game with UNC, and um, and what was it? It was JMU. So they scored 50 points in the first half. It was like 50. I'm trying to look for the. Uh, the game um, on uh, on CBS here, but it was just a it was a wacky game. I don't know why I can't find it. Of course, because there's so many there's there's so many games to look through. I'll try. Uh, yeah. So yeah. So James Madison seventy to fifty was the final score. So yeah, they had they had fifty three points in the for, in, in the first half. It was 53 to 21 and the final score ended up being 70 to 50. You would have thought that was a college basketball game. So that was a, that was a crazy game. Like I said, I caught the end of Colorado Baylor and I did not realize that Shadur Sanders threw a Hail Mary at the end of regulation to tie the game and they ended up winning in overtime. Also Michigan picked up a big win over USC winning 27-24. Um, you know, they ran the football in this game. They ran it. They ran it for almost 300 yards, 290 yards rushing, three touchdowns. Their quarterback, uh, you know, they benched their other quarterback, but they they started uh, Alex um, in this game, and uh, yeah, he ended up um, picking up the win. Not really doing much, just handed the ball off, and Michigan got the win. Uh, Miller Moss had three touchdowns in the game. He had 283 yards. But, yeah, that was a big win for Michigan at home. Um, close game there. Uh, you had Mizzou winning a close one against Vanderbilt, 30-27. to um, We're going to see Miami playing tonight. They won their game 50-15. to uh, Tennessee beat Oklahoma 25-15. Iowa won their matchup against... Uh, the Golden Gophers, 31 to 14. Uh, Boston College beat Michigan State 23-19. And uh, Arch Manning, 15 to 29, 257 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions, starting for Texas, 51 to 3. They won their matchup as well. Um, BYU was all over uh, Kansas State, 38-9. So. Yeah, no, some uh, some interesting games on the uh, uh, from the games uh, from last week. Uh, Utah beat Oklahoma State twenty-two to nineteen. So uh, Arkansas beat Auburn twenty-four fourteen. Penn State all over Kent State fifty-six to nothing. Uh, Navy beat Memphis fifty-six to forty-four. But yeah, let's kind of take a look at some of the big games for this week. So tonight you got Virginia Tech against the Hurricanes. Uh, Hurricanes are 17 and a half point favorites. And then you got Rutgers and Washington, which, you know, it could be a good game as well. Rutgers is 3 and 0. Washington is 3 and 1 on the season. Then for Saturday, uh, BYU against Baylor. You got Kentucky who played Georgia pretty tough. I mean, Georgia only won uh, 13 to 12 a couple weeks ago. So that could be an interesting game. Uh, you got Oklahoma State, who's 20th in the country. Kansas State, 23rd. They're both 3-1. and one. Uh, Maryland and Indiana. Got Michigan playing Minnesota. But yeah, the big matchup here is, of course, Alabama and Georgia. And that game will be played 7.30 p.m. Eastern time on ABC. Right now, Alabama is a one-point favorite. Yeah, it's a tough game to, to pick. Alabama's fourth right now. Georgia's number two ranked in the country. You got Illinois and Penn State on at 7.30 as well. That's an interesting game. And then also you have Ohio State and Michigan State on Peacock. 
So those are three. Uh, th those are three games that I definitely want to keep an eye on. You also have Arizona and Utah at 10:15 p.m. Eastern time on ESPN. That could be interesting. So yeah, some good games on the slate. You know, we'll see how it goes. And then to move on to the NFL, we'll take a look at the early slate of games. So you got the Falcons and the Saints. Falcons coming off of a loss against the Chiefs on Sunday Night Football. 22 to 17 for the Saints, you know, losing that tough game to the Eagles, 15 to 12. I like the Falcons to bounce back in this game. Um, I, I again, losing back-to-back -back home games is tough. I don't think they will. I, I, I think they get the win here. I, I'm encouraged by what I'm seeing from the Falcons. I, I think, you know, they're going to start clicking at some point, and then, you know, it's possible they take over this division. Um, I know last year, you know, they split. Saints destroyed them in the final week of the regular season, but I don't see that here. I, I see the Falcons winning this game. It's going to be close, but I like the Falcons in this game. Right now, they're two-and-a-half-point favorites. I like them to cover the number. Then you got the Bengals and the Panthers. You got Andy Dalton facing off against his former team. The Bengals got a lot of problems, especially on defense. You know, and Trent Brown, torn patella tendon out for the rest of the year. So that's a big injury on that offensive line. I like the Panthers to cover, but again... The, the Bengals, I think, should win this game, right? I mean, I know they lost to the Commanders. The defense was not good. The Bengals, are they really going to go to 0-4? I don't see that happening. So I like the Bengals to win. However, I do like the Panthers to cover the spread. Right now, they're four-and-a-half point underdogs. I'm going to say this game is close, but I think the Bengals win. Rams-Bears is a tough game because the Bears' offensive line is struggling. The Rams got a ton of injuries. It's it's a tough it's a tough game to pick. Right now, the Bears are three point favorites. I think in my spread pool right now, the line was at two and a half, and that's where it stays. So, it could be a three point game. I'm gonna say this is the game where Caleb Williams and that offense really gets it going. They started to get it going last week against the Colts. The Rams, their defense is not great. They're banged up. I think the Bears' defense will take advantage of the banged-up offensive line that the Rams have. So I actually do like the Bears to win this game, but I don't feel great about it. So, yeah, I'll take the Bears. Vikings and Packers. So we're still waiting on, is Jordan Love going to play? He has been practicing, was practicing with pads this week. So maybe he plays. If he doesn't... Sorry, had to hold back a sneeze again. Always ha Again, it always happens at least once on the show. But anyways, so the Packers, two-and-a-half-point favorites. Jordan Love does play in this game. I See, I don't know. I think either way, because Jordan Love is still, you know, going to have to, I mean, I don't know if you want to call it rust, but he hasn't played in a couple weeks. So he might be a little rusty, but um, either way, yeah, I'd probably lean towards the Vikings. The Vikings are playing really good right now. Sam Darnold's a little banged up, but I think that defense is going to give the Packers offense problems regardless of who plays quarterback. I know the Packers' defense is playing well this year. Well, past couple weeks has played well. So, um, But, yeah, I like the Vikings to get the win here. It's going to be a tough game, though. Jaguars and Texans. Texans are right now six-point favorites. In my spread pool, I think it was at four and a half. Jaguars are playing really bad right now. I mean, I think they could cover that six-point spread. But then again, I picked them to, you know, cover against the Bills. Uh, the Texans, they might be without Joe Mixon again this week, so that's, you know, th that's going to hurt them in the running game. Cam Akers did score a touchdown, but... I like the Texans to win this game. I picked them in my spread pool because the spread was four and a half, but six is a big number. But you know what? The Jags, they just don't look like they're going to get out of this. This funk that they're in. I mean, well, it's more than a funk. But, um, yeah, I like the Texans to win. I'm going to say they cover the six. Then we got the Steelers and the Colts. Steelers coming off that 20-10 to 10 victory over the Chargers. Colts coming off of their win over the Bears, 21-16. to 16. I like the Steelers to win this game. Anthony Richardson, you know, he'll make some plays where you're like, that was really impressive. But then, you know, like I said when I talked about the, the game the other day, then he'll throw a... A bad interception. And the Steelers' defense is playing really well right now. Justin Fields is not turning the ball over. They're the better team going in this game. 
I like them to win here in this spot. Then a couple more games here. You got the Broncos visiting the New York Jets. Jets are seven and a half point favorites. Broncos coming off of a shocking victory, 26 to 7 over the Buccaneers. Jets coming off of that 24 to 3 victory over the Patriots. They had, you know, a mini bye week playing last Thursday. I like the Jets to win and cover. And I say that very confidently. The Bucs, they were banged up on defense. And we'll talk about them in a second. I, I Aaron Rodgers is starting to play really well. You know, looked looked good against the Patriots, was getting out of the pocket. The Broncos' defense might give them some problems, but I, I think the Jets are the better team in this game, and I think they should win by a couple of scores and cover that number. But, again, nothing would surprise me. Then the Eagles take on the Buccaneers. Bucks are one-and-a-half-point underdogs. Eagles, they showed me something last week against the Saints. You know, they had almost 500 yards of total offense. This was without A.J. Brown. Don't know if he's going to play in this game or not. They might be down Devontae Smith as well. But I actually do like the Eagles to win this game. I do. I don't feel great about it. And you're probably saying, oh, you're already jumping off to the Baker Mayfield bandwagon. No. But I don't like this matchup for the Bucks. You know, they, they're they coming off of a loss against the Broncos. They're still banged up. Eagles are banged up too, but, you know, the defense really showed me something last week against the Saints, shutting down that offense. And I think they're going to shut down. They, they might shut down the Bucks' offense here. So I actually will take the Eagles to win and, yeah, cover the spread. So to go through the early slate, got the Falcons, Panthers, covering, Bears, Vikings, Texans, Steelers, Jets and the Eagles. So let me know what you guys think, though, about those picks. Give me some of your picks in the comments, whether it's college football related or um, in the NFL. I got to I gotta figure something out for college football, a little parlay to maybe um, put together uh, for tomorrow. So we're going to take our final break. When we come back, we will talk about the late window games. I know we went over the Sunday night game, but we will... Talk about the late afternoon games, I should say, since we previewed the Sunday night game. And that will be it for the show for today. So for one final time today, stick around, and we'll be right back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. <laughs> 